Thanks for watching Outdoors Delmarva. I'm Andrew Taws. Well, we're here at the 44th annual J. Millard Taws Crab and Clam Bake in Crisfield, and thankfully it's being held in October, so oh. we don't have to deal with all Woo. that scorching heat. Well, I'll tell you one thing that is hot for the month of October, Andrew, and that is fishing for stripers in the tributaries. And we went out recently with our friend David Jones and his neighbor, Mark Rogers, and I gotta be honest with you, I don't know what was more fun, the fishing or the boat ride. <laughs> It's late afternoon down here in Mount Vernon, and David Jones has a plan. We're going to run around uh, Molly's Point, Plant Stump Point. We're going up the Nanticoke to Cowles Creek. We're going to take Cowles Creek over to Elliott's Island, and then we're going to come back down Fishing Bay and home. In the meantime, we'll catch our two fish. Luckily, Dave's neighbor Mark Rogers joins us at the last minute, so now we'll have three fish to catch. So off we set across the wide mouth of the Wacomago on this peaceful October evening, and before long, we're into the marsh. This labyrinth that snakes through the Fishing Bay Wildlife Management Area is ideal not only for catching fish, but also for its tranquil scenery. So for most of the next few minutes or so, we'll just shut up and let the pictures do the talking. We'll be constantly on the move this evening, and at our first stop, Dave is cutting big chunks of peeler to catch some sizable stripers, hopefully. They're here, Dave. It's under 25 inches, going back. Yes, sir. because he never squeezed the tail. Only two and a piece. If we get one here, if we get the other two here, then we'll be good to enjoy it. Oh, he's got blue eyes and glasses. <laughs> yes, sir. Nothing keeps it. Nice fish. Nice fish this time. You gotta admit, I'm a damn good netter. It is a nice looking fish, Mark. Yeah. Now you're, now you're done. All right, now we got it. That's right. Mark Rogers will be on camera because yours truly has hooked into something with shoulders. And we have to say, with his masterful use of negative space and avant-garde camera angles, he deserves some big credit. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, yes. That's, one of, that's the biggest one of the day, I believe. He has got 27 inches. All right, Chuck. Go. I'll trade you a fish for a camera. There you go. All right. Thanks, Mark. There you go. And on that note, and with the sun setting low, 
It's time to call it a day. 